shows the gravitational effects of a planet on a dust belt. The thing to keep in mind is that the dust belt is being sculpted by the gravity of the planet. And by measuring how close the planet is to the dust belt, we can estimate the mass of the planet. Because, in fact, if Fomalhaut b were very massive, the Fomalhaut b planet is somewhat brighter than you would expect if you were just seeing light from the planet's surface. And uh, that suggests that perhaps the planet is orbited by a ring of material which is also scattering light towards the viewer. And this makes sense to me, given that we have uh, a beautiful ring around one of the planets in our picture of a star, a, a planet around another star. So if I live near a jungle and I hear elephants at night and I go into the jungle in the daytime, I see what look like elephant footprints, I might think I've detected elephants. But until I get that picture, that simple picture of an elephant, I'm not really sure. So to me, this, this is a 18 and a half year dream come true. We are going to show you, the scientists here today are going to show you the first visible light image, light that you can see with your own eye, of a planet. The glare from a bright star blinds us to the faint signal from a planet that may be in close proximity to the star. Now uh, we'll see a box, a white box, uh, show up to the lower right, and that faint speck is Fomalhaut b. Here it is in 2004, and here it is in 2006. Fomalhaut b is moving because it's orbiting uh, the star Fomalhaut just within the dust belt, thereby satisfying our hypothesis that the belt is governed by this planet. You can see the orbital motion is actually counterclockwise, and Fomalhaut b completes an orbit in uh, roughly 800 years. Comparison between our system uh, our solar system and the formal hot solar system. And if we can put the comparison slide up, that would be great. And it just gives you some idea of the differences in scale. So there are some similarities between the two systems, and there are also a lot of differences. Formal hot uh, is a brighter star than our sun. It's 16 times more luminous. And you can see that uh, the whole system is on a much grander scale than our own solar system. This is a landmark discovery in exoplanets because it's the first direct image of an object that everybody would agree is a planet. This is because, as we've heard, of its low mass, its association with the dust ring, and the orbital motion of the planet in part of its orbit around the star seen for the very first time. 